Eight years ago, we had no people in Gatar whatsoever. Today, there are 1,400 shell people. We've had a construction site here with 52,000 workers. And we're on the verge of starting up a project that will be a foundation for Shell's future for many decades to come. Our major construction on this project is now complete and we're getting ready to open the well some 60 kilometers offshore here. We will bring that gas onshore here. We will clean up the gas. We will start making the GTL waxes. We will refine those waxes to end products and we will start to make our first shipment. And over this year, we will ramp up production and in 2012, we will establish full production from right across this plant, producing almost 10% of Shell's worldwide production. For the state of Qatar, this project creates an opportunity to take their abundant gas reserves and turn them to high quality liquid products. It means they have an alternative way to get revenues for their gas reserves other than sell pipeline gas or LNG. And as a result, it diversifies their revenue streams. It underpins the gas prices that they may want to sell their gas. And it gives them a long-term revenue for many decades to come. I think Pearl GTL captures why Shell is the most competitive and nifted company in the energy business in the world. I think first and foremost, we have to look at technology. There are 3,500 patents in GTL that we use in this plant. That's a technology we've built up over 35 years. We have built here the largest construction site in the oil and gas industry, but yet today we're still within the budget set by the Board of Shell in 2006. We've brought together contractors from right across the world with the principle of one project, one team. But I think the most important thing is that we've done it safely. We have created records in safety. In 2010, we delivered 77 million hours of work without an LTI. That's a record for Shell. That's a record for the state of Ghetto. But I think project management is one thing, but also we have to look at the breadth of the activities. From the drilling of the well, 60 kilometers offshore here, to the distribution of finished products, GTL products, right across the world. That is a core breadth and capability that I don't believe any other company can compete with. Now, I think what's really important is that we capture the spirit, the culture that we've created through the construction of this project and transfer that into our production community. And within that production community, we have something called pride in production. Now we have 800 operations technicians that have joined our project, some of the very best from around the world. And today, when I walk with them and I talk with them, I see that they share the same pride. Pride when you look at the assets that we've built and the long-term value that we're going to generate for the Shell Group, but I think more importantly, for the people of Qatar, for the state of Qatar. Because the state of Qatar is our fundamental customer. It is them that we need to delight. <laughs>